Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here. And what we have here, we take 3 raised to the power 4 to the left hand side. That is, we have x minus 1, 4 raised to the power 4 minus 3 raised to the power 4 equals to 0 here. That is, here we can write this as x minus 1, 4 raised to the power 2. Then all raised to power 2 minus also here we have 3 raised to power 2 all raised to power 2 equals to 0 here. Then this follows on we have a square minus b square, which is the same thing as a plus b into brackets, open bracket a minus b. That is here a standing as x minus 1 all raised to power 2. And b standing as 3 raised to the power 2. Then what we have here becomes x minus 1 all raised to the power 2 plus 3 raised to the power 2 into bracket. Also, we have x minus 1 all raised to the power 2 minus 3 raised to the power 2 into bracket, then equals to 0 here. Then we have two possible cases here. The first one, x minus 1, all raised to power 2, plus 3 raised to power 2, equals to 0. Or we have x minus 1, all raised to power 2, minus 3 raised to power 2, equals to 0 here. Then solving on this side, we can expand this from where we have a minus b, all square, which is the same thing as a square plus b square minus 2ab. At this here, we have x square plus 1 square minus 2 times x times 1, then plus 3 square here, that's 9, which is equal to 0 here. Then this can be written as x square plus 1 square, that's 1, then minus 2 times x times 1, that's 2x plus 9, equals to 0 here. That is, we have x square minus 2x plus 1 plus 9, that's 10, equals to 0 here. And here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 2, and c equals to 10. Then when we apply the quadratic formula, and when we have x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. That is, yeah, we have x equals to minus minus 2 plus or minus square root of minus 2 square minus 4 times 1 times 10 then over 2 times 1. Then, this becomes x equals to minus times minus is plus. So we have 2 then plus or minus square root of minus 2 square. That's 4. Then minus 4 times 1 times 10. That's 40 over 2 here. And we have x equals to 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 40. That's minus 36 over 2. And yeah. We can write this as x equals to 2 plus or minus square root of root 36 times minus 1 over 2. And we can separate this from where we have root a times b, which can be written as root a times root b. As this here, we have x equals to 2 plus or minus root 36 times root minus 1 over 2. At this here we have x equals to 2 plus or minus root 36 as 6. Then root minus 1 is i over 2. And we can also write this as x equals to 2 over 2 plus or minus 6i over 2. Which implies we have x equals to 2 over 2 is 1. Then plus here becomes 3i. At this we have 2 complex solutions here then
Solving from the second case here, this follows when we have a square minus b square, which is the same thing as a plus b into bracket, open bracket a minus b. But this here, a is the same thing as x minus 1, and b, same thing as 3. But this, what we have becomes x minus 1 plus 3 into brackets. Then open bracket x minus 1 minus 3 close bracket then equals to 0 here. That is here, yeah, this becomes x plus 2 into bracket then open bracket. Here we have x minus 4 close bracket equals to 0 here. That is here, we have two possible cases. First one x plus 2 equals to 0, or we have x minus 4 equals to 0 here. At this here, taking 2 to the side, we have x equals to minus 2, which is a real solution here. Here also we have x equals to 4, which is also a real solution here. At this, we have two real solutions as well, and therefore, all together here, we have four solutions in this given problem. When we write it out, we have x1 equals to 4, x2 equals to minus 2, x3 equals to 1 plus 3 high, then x4 equals to 1 minus 3 high, making four solutions together, two real and two complex solutions. Then when we check for x equals to 4. When we substitute 4 here, we have 4 minus 1, 4 raised to the power 4, is it equals to 3 raised to the power 4. 4 minus 1 here, that's 3, that's 3 raised to the power 4, equals to 3 raised to the power 4 here. And this left hand side is equals to the right hand side. Then, 4 here satisfy the given problem. Then also, for minus 2, that bracket here becomes minus 2 minus 1, 4 raised to the power 4. This is equals to 3 raised to the power 4. Minus 2 minus 1, that's minus 3, 4 raised to the power 4. This is equals to 3 raised to the power 4. Then here, when we raise minus to an even number, it will be plus. That's plus 3 raised to the power 4. This is equals to 3 raised to the power 4. So this here is the same thing as writing 3 raised to the power 4. It's the same thing as 3 raised to the power 4 here. That is also left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, minus 2 also satisfies this given problem. And when we check for this, two complex solutions here as well, it also satisfies. And thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.